here we go again. I'm doing the top side of a new snake today. I've got the habit of doing these lines on the side. I find them really helpful in designing a top and bottom pattern that look good together. Sometimes it's hard to find my spot on something that's round, so measuring the edge out helps. So then I decided giant diamonds today. So I filled out their shapes using the segments of the wood as my guide for their spacing. And then I wanted to back shadow them rather than filling in the diamonds themselves. It takes a while, but um, the wood for these snakes is not the hardest wood to burn. Um, it's just a little bit softer than some things. I do like my little wood coins. My rune coins are a hardwood, and they take a lot longer to make a dark line. Did I say harder? It takes longer. <laughs> Anyways, I liked how this looked. So as I was filling it out, I started to think about what do I want to do on the ends? Because I didn't know. I still don't at this point, and I still don't. I don't know yet. So I make it up, as usual. These snakes are fun because... Um, they have a, a geometric quality, most of them that I do anyway. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know. Just geometric shapes are less difficult to get a good look and balance than um, maybe something made that's all natural, like a drawing of a bird or something where you've got shadows and uh, shapes. I'm almost done with this little guy. I decided to put smaller diamonds inside the big diamonds. Um, oh, I guess I did the tail first. And they turned out, I like how they look, but the glue along the <clears throat> joining spine of the snake makes the burning less crisp and less dark. I don't know what I'm going to do for the belly of the snake, but I think this little masked snakey is pretty cute. It looks like something from, I don't know. What does it look like it's from? <laughs> 